You ever wonder why celebrities make huge sales when they decide to go into business? You might say it's because of their large fan base or huge social media presence. However, even though these are factors they all have in common, some still do it better than others. Look at Prime Drinks for example. The business was extremely successful within the first year of its launch, and even after one year, the creators KSI and Logan Paul still struggle to meet demands. So what is it that they do differently? What about Prime Drinks is so special that it makes people fall all over themselves to grab a bottle? Today on Need for Knowledge, we go behind the scenes to see how Prime Drinks are made, as well as an insight into how KSI and Logan Paul managed to create an incredible business idea. If you're on social media often, you'd probably know who KSI and Logan Paul are. And you would have also seen videos of people pushing themselves out of the way to get a bottle of Prime Drinks. If you have no idea though, that's fine too. We'll get you up to speed in no time. Prime Drinks are a group of drinks which are marketed by Prime Hydration LLC. And the drinks sold under this brand name range from sports drinks to energy drinks and regular drink mixes. While the drinks taste great, or at least so the people who are persistent enough to get them at all costs have testified, the real fuss could just be over the faces of the brand. KSI and Logan Paul are some of the most influential people in the UK. Apart from their successful individual careers in the sports and music industries, their huge fan base has made them successful in other spheres as well, like video game commentating, vlogging, and of course, as CEOs of what might be the fastest selling drinks in the UK. In 2022, KSI announced that he and Logan Paul would be launching a drink company together, and the turnout from people was crazy. Between the two men, who are also big shot YouTubers, they have at least 40 million followers combined, and it felt like all of them showed up at the launch. Due to the crazy demand, the products are limitedly available in stores across the UK, and even on the company website, there's a sold out brand printed across every one of their products. In physical stores, the hassle is so much worse, as can be seen from videos where adults were pushing younger people out of the way to grab the drinks from supermarket aisles. And you would also see younger people with skill and dexterity climbing over people's heads just so they can reach the top of the shelf. While this issue raises security and health concerns for some people, the customers directly affected by all this struggle seem to think that the drink is worth all their stress in the end. Aldi which is perhaps the cheapest supermarket in the UK, had these drinks available at all their outlets for just two pounds. However, with the products disappearing as soon as they arrive on the shelves, many people on the black market have taken advantage of this and sold the drink for as high as 10,000 pounds. The drink was initially listed on eBay for 300 pounds. However, this price skyrocketed to 50,000 pounds in no time. And the crazy thing is, People in other parts of the world, or those who lack the patience to stand in long queues that begin as early as 6 a.m., prefer to pay these outrageous amounts. Some of them are lucky enough to get the real thing, but sometimes, people end up with the fake prime. All this fuse makes you wonder, what is really in those drinks anyway? KSI and Logan Paul have tagged this drink as a healthier alternative to typical energy drinks due to the absence of caffeine, in the presence of relatively fewer calories. So, rather than being one of those energy drinks that overly stimulate a person and have tons of side effects, they brag that Prime drinks have a hydration effect, along with helping you stay focused on your goals. Each 500 milliliter bottle consists of filtered water and about 10% coconut water, which is a natural source of electrolytes that promote heart, skeletal, and muscle health. Each bottle also has 2 grams of sugar, which is barely 10% of an adult's recommended intake, and other alternatives for sweeteners are used. Examples are sucralose and acesulfame K, which are low-calorie compounds. These hydrating drinks are available in about 8 variants, which are blue raspberry, grape, ice pop, lemon lime, meta moon, orange, strawberry watermelon, and tropical punch. From the list of ingredients used to produce the drinks, doctors and nutritionists believe that while the products are indeed as healthy as they claim, they offer no real nutritional value. 
so they are literally bottles of sweetened water, which are way more expensive and stressful to get. However, this revelation hasn't done anything to reduce the demand that Prime Hydration Company is faced with on a daily basis. Some marketers have a theory that the low supply is a marketing tactic, which seems to be working tremendously great in the company's favor. The logic behind this tactic is that when you limit the supply, demand increases exponentially, which seems to be what is going on here. I mean, think about it. When you hear that there's a limited amount of a particular product, you get the urge to buy before it sells out. Furthermore, when there's so much hype about a particular product, the buzz tends to attract more people because no one wants to be left out of a cool trend. And for these reasons, some people think that the gap between supply and demand of the prime drinks was a well-planned publicity stunt. However, the level of effectiveness may have been a surprise. In response to this, KSI and Logan have claimed that the narrative is completely false. On several occasions, KSI said that although he and his partner are indeed marketing geniuses, they really didn't see themselves having the kind of response that they did. According to him, the company is working tirelessly to meet up with what seems like an increasingly large demand. To help with this, the drinks are now available in more stores across the UK. However, it's still more easily accessible in the US than in the home country of the owners. Boxing fans would remember that KSI and Logan Paul were rivals in a boxing match between 2018 and 2019. However, their boxing rivalry doesn't seem to get in the way of their joint business goals and their relationship as business partners. As you would see on the company's website, Prime Drinks is intended to be an inspiration and show people what can happen when people decide to put rivalry aside, become brothers, and work together to achieve a common goal. Considering the success of the company, I'd say that they have done a great job of passing this message across. However, it's clear that beyond brotherhood, the success of the company is also attributed to impressive marketing tactics. What variant of Prime Drinks is your favorite? And in your opinion, does it live up to the hype? Leave your answer in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this episode of Need for Knowledge, and we will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.